No doubt, Odell Beckham Jr., one of the biggest breakout, not just receivers, but players in the National Football League this year. But we're going to focus on receivers, since we're with our receiver, Nate Burleson, and go over the top five breakout receivers for this coming year. And I like who you have at number five, a fresh new face on the NFL scene. A fresh new face, and you're not selected fourth overall unless you're coming to play right now. And what I like about him is he put up big numbers. And some people say, well, you put up big numbers in college, that doesn't necessarily translate to the NFL. But over 1,700 yards, 124 catches, he could play on the outside, he could play on the inside. And yes, some of this, his statistics are going to depend if Derek Carr can keep trending upward. But I like this guy as a breakout receiver. He's going to make plays as long as they target him. All right, Amari Cooper, the highest drafted Raider receiver uh, uh, ever. Mm. The, the two other top ten picks at receivers, Darius Hayward Bay, Tim Brown. So it's really hit or miss <laughs> with uh, Raider receivers drafted in the top ten. All right, Jordan Matthews going into his second season in Philadelphia. You love this kid. Yeah, well, Macklin being gone, now he has a chance to step up as a second-year wide receiver. He's really tall, good length. He plays on the outside, plays a little on the inside. But what they did with this offense, going out and getting Aguilar, he's going to play on the inside. So now they're going to have quite the tandem, two young wide receivers. And then the running backs are going to help. They went and had a, a great offseason in the free agency, um, getting to Marco Murray and Ryan Matthews. You got to look for this guy to make some big time plays, now being the set alone number one receiver in this offense. The most receiving touchdowns by an Eagles rookie wide receiver since 1990, so certainly he has impressed so far. Devontae Adams, maybe not on everybody's radar going into last season, but he should be now, right? Well, with the amount of opportunities that he was afforded, he took advantage of that. When you think about the Green Bay wide receiver core, you think about Randall Cobb, you think about Jordy Nelson, and rightfully so. But you just got to watch this kid play for his height and his weight. He can go out there and drop his shoulders down and run some really good routes. You can see he has yards after catch. So when he gets the ball in his hands, he's trying to score. Check out this slant route. Mm. Not a lot of receivers can do that. And he's just getting started. Oh, and not to mention that he's always going to see single coverage or at least the third best DB in an offense. So as a receiver, young wide receiver, very confident going into every game. Maybe a good fantasy pickup, too, Devontae yeah. Adams. This guy was a good fantasy pickup last year. Seemed like all he did was score touchdowns. Martavis Bryant had a great rookie. Year. It's a great rookie year. And, you know, everybody thinks he's the guy just to go take the top off the coverage. And he does that. You'll see a lot of balls going over the top, a lot of long balls. He's really productive in the red zone. Antonio Brown, he's the guy that's going to get in between zones. He's going to catch the ball and run and make plays when the ball's in his hands. This guy is going to run past the safeties, run past the corners, be on the outside, be on the inside. And it's good when you got Big Ben throwing you the ball. Antonio, who is arguably the best receiver in the game, and that's just a compliment to him because he gets to go out there and really play without the pressure of a number one. And a pretty good running back there in Pittsburgh as well to help that passing <laughs> game. Okay, I thought this was breakout wide receivers, and here you have Odell Beckham Jr. Hasn't he already broken out? Easy. Listen, what he missed four games last he year? He did, first four. And, and came out and basically lit the league on fire. And a lot of people remember that big time catch, but I actually studied this man. He can run great routes. You see him versus bump coverage, getting off the ball, high pointing the ball. And this was one of the most amazing plays we've ever seen at the wide receiver position. Not only that, you got Victor Cruz coming back, which is going to be a great compliment. So now these defenses have to make a decision. Do you want to single one of these individuals and give them a chance to run all over the field? Oh, and not to mention, there's another offseason where Eli Manning can work with his, with his receiver and work on that chemistry. So if I know Eli, like I know Peyton, they're going to be working all offseason so they can do exactly what they did, but not four games into it the very first game of the season. And let's not forget they have a great pass-catching running back now in Shane Vereen there in New York as well. Thank you, Nate. Very much looking forward to see if all these men continue to break out.